first thing that we need to define is what a giant covalent structure is. You've learned about covalent compounds before, such as water and oxygen. These both have a set number of atoms. You've got H2O and O2. The difference with a giant structure like diamond is that you don't have a set number of atoms anymore. What we have instead is an ongoing structure that could go on and on as far as possible until you run out of atoms. So here we've got diamond. Diamond is made up of just carbon atoms. That's all these black atoms here. And all of these atoms are, have four other carbons bonded to them. That's your basic structure of diamond. The key features of diamond are that it is a form of just carbon atoms and that every single carbon atom is bonded to four other carbon atoms. Graphite is the other giant covalent structure that you need to know about. Graphite is almost the same as diamond. You've still got the black molymods, which means that it's just made up of carbon atoms. But what's different here is that each carbon is only bonded to three other carbons. So the way it's arranged is in this flat arrangement like this. When you get lots and lots of them, what you end up with is something that looks like this. So here I've got two layers of graphite one on top of the other, and you can imagine that this structure could go on and on and on, just like the diamond could a moment ago. The biggest difference between diamond and graphite is that in graphite, each carbon is only bonded to three other carbons, and that means that it's arranged in layers, like on the left here.